Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie. I teach the art of hand balancing. And this is a morning handstand practice because it's actually really great to start off your day with a brief and intensive handstand practice. So let's get started with a warm up. <laughs> Those of you who are familiar with my videos already know Puck, uh, my mother's dog, whose favorite pastime is uh, to sleep, so he hasn't quite woken up yet. But we are going to wake up with a nice big um, shoulder roll, pulling the front of the stomach in towards the spine and really bringing the shoulders up all the way up to the ears, pushing them back, down and front at the same time continuously pulling the navel in towards the spine and let's do the same thing to the front really pulling the shoulders up to the ears pushing them front down back creating the biggest possible circle in the shoulders great we take one big circle with straight arms and once you've reached the top with your hands really pull the hands as far back as you can creating a very big circle here towards the back both opening up the whole front of the chest here really opening up everything pulling the hands back as much as possible so um, if it gets a little bit bumpy here in the back once you've reached your maximum point, try and work a little bit further while at the same time keeping the stomach flat, not allowing the ribs to flare. Okay, once you've done that, take the arms diagonally out to the side and really curve the chest once as much as possible. And then really open up everything from the front of the chest and then curve one more time and open up the chest one more time great let's take a gentle swing here now to warm up the spine so i'm just really swinging my arms from side to side and give yourself a pat on the back or you can also just keep the arms straight and do this in a very controlled way so it's kind of very good in the morning to warm up your spine imagining that your spine is a bit like a towel that is being wrung out so you're really getting like a full twist from the crown until the tailbone in before you start practicing gently waking up the body with small controlled exercises waking up every body part Okay, and just bring that down and find a wall somewhere in the room. Place your hands quite high up on the wall and then allow your chest to sink towards the wall, really opening up the shoulder line, opening it up all the way, allowing the head to come through and then staying in that position and breathe, lengthen into the wall. and come out of it and let's do that one more time lengthen into the wall and allow your chest to sink through using gravity to help you here with this shoulder opening sometimes in the morning you feel a little bit more stiff than in the evening and then stretching can be a bit of a challenge and let's come out of the stretch and now just with your feet parallel um, roll down from the crown of your head through every single vertebra in the spine and when you've reached a halfway point then just slightly bend the knees to allow your chest to rest on your thighs or you can also prop up your hands here on yoga blocks or a chair if you can't quite come this far down to the ground and Puck has also woken up already yep okay and from here we'll bend the knees reaching forward with the arms 
warming up the hamstrings and straighten and bend the knees and straighten. We'll do this one more time. Bend the knees and straighten. Okay, great. Now in this position, if you can, just walk the hands. Walk the hands in all directions here. So this may be a bit of a challenge if you can't quite reach the ground, but really try and um, even if you're higher up, reach towards the ground with your hands, pushing your palms into the floor, warming up the wrists, giving them a gentle stretch. Gentle morning stretch to prepare your body for handstands. And um, be mindful of your breath as well. See if you can deepen your breath with each in-breath, activating everything in the body, getting more oxygen into the body. Okay, and let's come down uh, to all fours and first to the knees. And now sitting here, uh, propped up on your knees, we'll just be here for a brief moment um, if this is uncomfortable, but it's also a very good stretch to learn for the um, toes. Let's just reach up one time towards the ceiling, really opening up the shoulder line as much as possible, breathing in, holding the breath at the top and breathing out and allowing everything to drop. We'll do this two more times. Kind of think about it uh, like a good morning um, yawn, preparing you to push into the ground and to push the earth away from you in a handstand. One more time, reach up towards the ceiling, breathe in, hold your breath at the top, and breathe out, relax everything. One more time. And this time, let's um, flex the hands as if we were in a handstand, imagining that you're pushing the ground away. So we'll just be here for 10 more seconds. Reach up, open up your shoulder line, breathe in, push the ceiling away, hold your breath at the top, and breathe out, relax everything. Okay, great. Let's come into our first um, weight-bearing position of the day, four-point position. Pushing the ground away from you, really actively um, pushing the ground away and um, make sure that you are straightening your elbows. And let's prop up the feet here. Um, let's prop up the toes. I mean the toes, not the feet. And uh, then pull your stomach in towards your spine and lift your knees off the ground. Let's hold it here for 10 seconds first and lift off the knees for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come down to the knees, sit back on your knees and reach behind you. Reach behind, really opening up the front of the shoulder line. So here you are allowed to arch as much as possible. Yeah, we're really arching the back, really pulling behind with the fingers here, opening up everything before we go back into uh, the next four-point um, lift. And this time we will hold it for 20 seconds. So prop up the toes and Pull the navel in towards the spine and lift the knees off. Now hold it with me for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great and relax. Now let's take it a little bit further and lift up the hips. So take a moment to get into this position. Maybe you want to stretch your hamstrings a little bit more. Maybe you want to stand up quickly and just um, shake your arms. So um, 
feel free in between these exercises to use the time for whatever you need. So it may be that you kind of want to loosen up your joints a little bit more. Maybe you want to give your arms a swing or you want to stretch a particular body part that we haven't um, included here, that we haven't included in the warm-up. And then let's take it to a halfway handstand holding it on the toes. So again, um, if you have done my couch to handstand 30 day challenge, you um, are familiar with uh, stepping up onto an elevation. So you can, if you like here, step up onto an elevation and just prop your feet up onto something. Sometimes that can be a little bit easier. Um, but if you don't have the elevation, then just push yourself up onto your toes with a really rounded back. So rounded back like we did in this first exercise here. Curved back, cat back, yeah. Shoulders above the wrists and we will hold it here for 20 seconds. Starting now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, dig your fingers into the ground, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, and come back up, release everything, and we are going to roll the shoulders backwards a little bit again, because this morning practice is about gently starting the day with movement with mindful movement, loosening up the joints, getting a stretch and a feeling, feeling your power and the strength of your body to hold up your own body weight. Puck is also doing a little stretch. Um, let's next um, go into handstand kick-ups, halfway kick-ups. Um, uh, your choice whether you want to actually close the legs here or whether you just want to do swing and jump. Yeah, so um, both options are available. You pick yours and we're going to do 10 of these together. And one, and two, and three, and four. Five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Okay, great. Excellent. Again, roll the shoulders and let's take the legs into a straddle position and just bring it down to a squat and straighten. So you can prop up your hands here on your knees, squat and straighten. Now try and deepen the squat on this one here. Squat and straighten and squat and straighten. So now your choice, swing and jump kick up close or what I'm going to do here now jump to tuck and straight yeah so these are your choices I'm um, 10 in a row in a regular rhythm again let's go for one and two dig your fingers into the ground three elbows straight Four, stomach pulled in towards the spine. Five, and six, and seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Great, fantastic. So, I'm breathing hard. I'm sure you're breathing hard as well. Let's do another sideways um, spiraling swing to just calm the breath a little bit. And we will finish off this brief morning practice with um, endurance handstand holds. We'll do three times 30 seconds. 
Um, if you have done three times 30 seconds in the morning, that means you have already done um, uh, quite a big handstand practice. And if you want to practice more handstands in the evening, then basically you can have lots of playtime and you've done the hard part already straight away. Um, and your handshake is going to be really strong <laughs> after this handstand practice as well. <laughs> so um, either with the wall, back against the wall, front against the wall, or freestanding, your choice. This is going out to lots of people, so I'm trying to kind of like accommodate for uh, all of your different levels. Uh, we're going to hold 30 seconds all together. If you have to come down in between, just kick up again and meet us along the way to the 30 seconds. Stomach in towards the spine, really pushing into the floor, squeezing the legs together, trying to get that straight line of balance there spot on first thing in the morning. Okay, let's start now for 30 seconds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, and come down. Fantastic. Very good. Shake your hands. Calm your breath. We do this two more times. You don't have to do this on the yoga mat. It's just the way I like to do it. Um, sometimes, but um, actually it's really nice also to just do handstands on the ground and really feel the contact with the floor. So I hope that by now you have woken up and uh, feel ready to face the handstand challenge and all the tiredness has left your body and has been replaced with a feeling of strength. Let's do another 30 second hold, wall, front, back or freestanding. Let's go together, kick up and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Dig your fingers into the ground, stomach and towards the spine. Twenty, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come out of the handstand. So what I sometimes like to do in endurance handstand holds is I put my foot, one foot in front of the other, and that helps me to squeeze my legs together. And it also helps me to like get a sense of a uh, feeling of length of length up towards the ceiling while pushing down into the floor. So in your handstand, you always want to feel like you're pushing the ground away and at the same time you have a feeling of a sense of length and a, like an upward, m as if you're growing tall towards the ceiling. So let us do the last 30 seconds with that feeling of pushing into the ground, really rooting yourself into the ground while at the same time floating up towards the ceiling and if you like you can put one foot I've got oh, usually I've got the front um, I've got the the right foot in front of the other um, but um, of course that's just an add-on all right ready for the last one let's go for 30 seconds and kick up and hold it for one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
fabulous. Very good. Well done. This was your morning handstand practice. You have already been a superhero first thing in the morning. Let's do a little cool down stretch, uh, pulling the stomach in towards the spine, taking the arm across your front, really pulling the arm towards you, making sure you're pushing this shoulder down. And hold it here with me. And release, take the other arm across. Really pull the arm towards you, push this shoulder down. And hold it here. And release. Interlace the fingers behind you. Straighten your arms. If you can't interlace and straighten, then take a towel. Hold on to the towel and straighten your elbows here to open up the front of your body. And hold it here with me. And release. Great. Thank you very much for practicing with me this morning. I hope you have a great day. We are going to go for a walk now. And whatever you're up to today, um, I hope it's going to go uh, really well. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.